Hello everyone. I am Jan Tobias Mühlbeck from the IMAC History Net Research Group in KU Leuven. And today I'm presenting a tutorial that I'll teach together with Jo van Burg at DSN in Luxembourg in June on building distributed enclave applications with Sankos and SGX. Sankos and SGX, they are trusted computing architectures. They allow you to run a piece of software in isolation without having to trust the operating system. So it is the hardware that gives you integrity guarantees that allows you to do remote attestation for this particular piece of software and you don't have to trust the operating system, you don't have to trust libraries um, to actually get these security guarantees. IMAC DistriNet has been doing a range of research in this field considering very low level trusted computing architectures such as our own open source Sankos architecture but also been doing research on SGX for example and we've been investigating the security guarantees you get out of these systems, we've been investigating how um, these systems are vulnerable, where they don't work, we've been investigating programming models for actually easing the way of developing enclaves, that's what we call these things, um, for these architectures and one particular example I have here built up on, on the right side is a demo that uses our own architecture, it's called Sankos, to um, secure a vehicular communication network. So we have these little electronic control units that communicate over um, a CAN network and they interact with off-the-shelf dashboards. And the interesting thing is that we get in this network very strong guarantees about the software that runs on the individual control units. These are integrity protected, they can make use of the cryptographic hardware components in the chip to do authenticated uh, communication with other components. They even get a notion of secure I.O. We'll talk more about this in the tutorial. And, well, the interesting thing here is that this is all cool and nice, but normally when you want to interact with um, a larger scale system when you have to do more compute computations than what is possible on embedded devices, you want to build heterogeneous systems that actually um, leverage these trusted computing guarantees to a more powerful environment. And that's exactly what this tutorial will be about. So we'll talk about how to develop distributed applications that run on a heterogeneous trusted computing architecture, leveraging all the guarantees I've just been mentioning. So we think we'll be building an application that uses Sankos for very low-end sensing and actuating, but also involve SGX enclaves and we'll provide um, nice libraries and a nice deployment framework um, that allows you to um, easily program these devices. But still, you'll run into all the pitfalls, we'll learn about all the um, difficulties that are involved in deploying and writing such an application and that's what the whole tutorial is going to be about. So it will be highly practical, you'll learn a lot about um, trusted computing, about different trusted computing architectures and how to make them interact. If you want to know more, our website is here, it will slowly be evolving into an outline of this tutorial and we'll provide material on the fly. Um, and yeah, well, I'm very much looking forward to seeing you at DSN on the 25th of June in Luxembourg. Thank you.